Many of the state parks across central Florida are closed. They are simply undrivable. As you can see, I'm standing in water here and the road behind me impassable. Now, as we head over the next couple of days here in these inland counties, it's not the wind from Nicole we're worried about. It's the inundation or that water that will come in as Nicole makes landfall. And of course, the rain also a major concern as well. This area saw epic flooding from Hurricane Ian just about five to six weeks ago. And the problem is, is we expect more uh, in terms of flooding as we head into the next week. That according to the emergency management officials here in Seminole County. Now they're telling residents that if you live in an area that floods easily, you are asked to leave before things get really dangerous and you can't leave your home. Most of the homes that are along the lakes and rivers here are already uninhabitable because Ian came in and made them unlivable. But some folks have tried to come back to their homes and live inside their homes and start digging out and cleaning up, but advised they are being advised to leave if you do flood easily before it gets too dangerous. And of course, crews will not be out if the winds are higher than 35 miles an hour. Uh, they have to stay hunkered down, and we're anticipating that to be the case as we head through later tonight and especially into tomorrow when Nicole makes its closest approach to the western and central part of the state before it makes that curve back towards the east. So uh, there's lots to watch here. A lot of folks nervous tonight as they continue to uh, keep the updates from AccuWeather and get the latest forecast track and what they can expect. And hopefully the worst will be spared. But of course, it is a wait and see game as Nicole makes its final approach. For now, we are in Seminole County. I am Leslie Hudson reporting for AccuWeather.